I'm Craig Smith, and we are live at Tucson's Reed Park Zoo, and unfortunately we are here because there's some sad news to report here at the elephant habitat. An 11-year-old elephant named Punga, and that's an adolescent in elephant terms, uh, died yesterday. Uh, the problem was he developed a, a syndrome where some of his internal organs sort of twisted and restricted and there was really nothing they could do to, to save him. They just tried to make him a, a little more comfortable, but there was nothing they could do to save him, and they're not exactly sure why this condition caught up with him. Uh, this is a condition that is rare in elephants, we are told, but actually can happen in dogs and large livestock like cows and horses. But what we're seeing right now is some members of the herd, the people uh, at the zoo tell us that uh, the members of the herd have really reacted to the, the death of uh, their, their relatives, son to uh, two of the elephants here, brother or, uh, or nephew to some of the others. Elephants do have very firm and well-organized family units that really do react and we're told that it's really not an exaggeration to refer to them as mourning what happened to to Punga. Um, they spent a lot of today uh, just sort of uh, hiding away in the barn uh, where they saw Punga last just sort of reacting and 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 just sort of assimilating the realities of, of what what happened. So uh, people do tend to take a real uh, a real love of these these elephants because you don't have to be an elephant expert or a wildlife expert to kind of recognize that they live in a family unit where they are sensitive to each other um, and they are sensitive to the loss of one of the members of that of that unit. We're told uh, Punga was kind of an adolescent and had sort of adolescent behavior. He he would kind of play around but do it gently with his with some of his other relatives and his uh, his younger siblings. Um, the uh, I don't really know these elephants by sight the way the zoo staff does. Uh, I think you're looking at basically the the back end of the the male of the the male of the herd named Mabu. Uh, he weighs about 13,000 pounds. Um, uh, Punga weighed about 7,000 pounds. Now they're not going into a lot of detail over you know what they will do or what they did do with his with his body but you know there are very specific procedures on how you would deal with it, the elephant how you would do what they call a necropsy basically an animal autopsy to learn more about how he died and derive some benefit for the elephants that live on to maybe know what to do if this happens again now i think uh, sam may be focused in on nandy the not quite a baby elephant anymore but still pretty small and cute she's a very much a crowd favorite um, but this is the this is the situation. An eleven year old male elephant named Punga uh, developed a, a serious uh, medical or veterinary condition uh, yesterday, and uh, the the people at the zoo uh, just really weren't able to do much about it. It's the sort of thing that might quite likely require emergency surgery to to remedy, and that is certainly something you can't do very easily with something as large as an elephant. So uh, they say that uh, a lot of the people here at the zoo, a lot of the visitors, don't really know what happened overnight. And since so many of them have children with them at this point, this is not something that we're going to drop on them and, uh, and upset the young children. So, uh, but they say from the moment they put out the word on the Internet, they started getting a strong reaction from folks who are sad at the loss of a beloved animal here. Uh, uh, Punga, the 11-year-old uh, male uh, elephant here at the Tucson Reed Park Zoo. But this is what we have now. The, the elephants are, are out, but people who really know elephant behavior tell us that you can see the difference in how they behave. They're not acting in any sort of playful manner, as they sometimes will. They're just kind of hanging close to each other, almost like a human family would in mutual support when a member of that family is lost. But this is what, what we are watching. Um, the visitors here probably don't truly know the normal count of, of elephants here, so wouldn't really notice if, if one is missing unless the uh, zoo put out some sort of announcement here at the elephant habitat, and they have not done that. They have shared the news 
uh, very quickly and widely uh, online and through through Facebook, through Twitter, through uh, releases to uh, people in the news media. But again, just if you're just now joining us, just telling you why we are visiting uh, Tucson's Reed Park Zoo. <clears throat> we are here because one of their elephants, an 11-year-old male named Punga, developed a serious problem, um, a, a problem with his internal organs where they effectively twisted onto themselves, and that was just something he could not survive. He died yesterday. Uh, the herd, uh, much, as a, much as a group, as a human family might, is reacting to the loss uh, of this family member. Uh, if you look over here to the right, uh, Nandi is kind of nuzzling up to kind of a medium-sized elephant that, that may be her, her mother. Uh, and, they are, and they are really just sort of hanging together for, for mutual support. To some degree, they were uh, hiding from the public for a while this morning back in the elephant barn, the last place they saw uh, Punga, and kind of adjusting to his loss and assimilating that. So. Uh, this is the situation here, the loss of an elephant, a beloved elephant, and, and people really do seem to have an affinity for elephants more than they might for other sorts of wild wild animals. And you theorize as to why and, and maybe why that is, and, and the, the best theory that anybody has, has given us so far is the, the very idea that elephants seem to exist as a family unit, a sensitive, caring, mutual caring family unit that feels the loss as this herd at the Reed Park Zoo is feeling right now. So again, that is the situation here. The loss um, due to an internal problem of 11-year-old Punga, the male, uh, um, an adolescent male elephant here at Tucson's Reed Park Zoo, um, an internal problem uh, of sort of twisted internal organs, the sort of thing that occasionally happens to uh, dogs and horses and, and cows. Um, afflicted him and there was nothing they could they could do to save him so what the zoo has done is they did what they call a necropsy an animal autopsy and uh, to determine what happened what they might learn to benefit other elephants in the future if any of the in any of those uh, uh, developed this condition and the the body has already been been moved from the zoo they're not offering us a lot of detail over precisely how they do it but the u.s department of agriculture which regulates zoo animals oversees that process uh, and they're very careful to meet those standards so reporting live at tucson's reed park zoo craig smith kga9 on your side